Yo, what up, YouTube? Today we see about uh, doing the uh, engine resto part two. Let's see if we get this monstrosity cleaned up and uh, fixed up. So with that being said, we gotta grab some supplies from the store. We need some oil and carb cleaner. We're gonna take a little road trip. Alright guys, so we just got our supplies from the automotive part of the uh, Walmart store. We got 10W30 engine oil, a whole bunch of it. Uh, choke and carb cleaner to clean off the uh, engine I'm going to be tearing apart. And then I also got brake fluid, so I can try to figure out the uh, pedal going to the brake, or the brake pedal going to the floor on my car. So stick around, we're going to head back to the house after I make a few runs to another few stores. Hey, what's up, everybody on YouTube? Spike Man. All right, so we're back from the store, and I got a few supplies here. We got our choke and carb cleaner to clean out all the crud out of this nasty thing. And then I also got to see if there's a replacement crankcase off of one of my old Predators, because all these bolt holes have cracks in them, and it's leaking oil. So... I'm going to see what I can do to get this project started, stick around. Alright, so I'm letting the oil drain out of this sucker. A lot of water came out of this. So, yeah. Needless to say, I am going to be tearing the whole thing apart. Stick around. Okay, so I went ahead and took the uh, engine crankcase apart. The good news is, the cam that came out of the engine, I think I have the... Uh, Dino aftermarket cam for this engine that'll fit from the uh, stock Predator 212. And I think I have a replacement engine side casing. It's pretty nasty in there. There's this sludge buildup that the carb cleaner wasn't even phasing. So I dumped some gasoline in there. I'm going to go ahead and wire brush this out. So stick around. Alright, so I managed to get the uh, all that black sludge crud cleaned out of there best I could and I found something interesting I don't know if you guys could see it but I was checking out the cylinder walls not sure how well the camera is able to pick up on it but it still has the cross hatch on the cylinder walls I'm guessing whoever had this engine didn't have it running very long because those cylinder walls 
are barely even broke in. There's very little wear on those cylinder walls, so I'm guessing the rings are probably in still really good condition. Stick around for the further teardown. Alrighty, as you can see, we got that bad boy way cleaned up. I'm still working on one of the valves. I got the valve cleaned up, one of the valves cleaned up. And look at the improvement I made on that engine cylinder so far. Even the cross hatch on the engine, it still has its cross hatch. There's almost no wear. Like, it's like this engine's just been brutally, I don't know how you say it, violated. And for some odd reason, I just got it in the condition it was, but it just, according to the condition of the cylinder wall, it's as if though it's hardly even been ran. And for the time it was running, somebody just took shit care of it. Oh, there's my little bunky butt. Scamp. I hop. <laughs> yeah, he hops like that because he's only got three legs. But onward and forward. Yeah. Stick around. Alright guys, so we hit a snag. Um, I don't know what the heck happened to my uh, crankcase cover to my previously blown head, uh, Predator 212. That's missing in action, so I looked all over the place, can't find it nowhere. Probably got tossed or stolen, I don't know. But the, uh, the news on this little 5.5 horse, I'm thinking I'm going to just like get a rig and seal up those... Uh, bolt holes to where a torque converter would bolt on because those are all cracked. I need to fix something with those. And um, it turns out the dyno cam from the 212 just a hair bigger than the stock cam. So that won't work. I just got to run it stock, everything stock. But on the contrary, you got everything super cleaned up. This used to be all completely black full of soot and junk and the uh, heads all nicely cleaned up I just got the uh, everything all cleaned up for the moment it still needs a lot more cleaning so I will have more uh, videos I'm gonna keep on keeping on until this damn thing runs so stick around for part three of this uh, engine resto